So I've done a few riffs based on the G tonal center recently and uh, you know I've also been doing the the uh, major scales like mad but I just thought maybe we'd do uh, a real simple sort of a G blues rock and roll sort of a lead guitar business uh, lesson something really simple like Something like that. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to change that a little bit, but the way I started was, uh, you know, I'm thinking about third fret as we always do with basic G down in this neighborhood. You know, the root is the third string, uh, third fret, sixth string, and then I'm building off of kind of a G7 type bar chord. That's a good way to frame what we're talking about. If you take your index finger, lay it flat at third string and make an E7 shape. That's one of your basic chord shapes, like middle and ring at fourth and fifth frets of the third and fifth strings and bar at the uh, sec, uh, third fret. And uh, from there, this, this note, the B, is how I got into that lick. I went. So that B is part of the chord. That's a chord tone, part of the chord formula. To make a G7 chord, you need G, B, D, and F. So B is the major third of G. And that's what I'm kind of targeting when I go. That'd be a B flat to a B third to fourth fret on the third string. That's a classic. So that was going through a little hunk of a major pentatonic scale, like a D, E, G. Three, five, three on the second and first strings. And then just to party up, that slide I'm matching that G pitch. Which is second string, eighth fret. Second string, eighth fret. I like middle finger on that, but maybe ring is cool. If you use ring, you can go. So I guess I kind of remembered the lick. So from that G, I'm going to go G, B flat, C, and bend the C. G, B flat, C, B flat, C, bend. That's eight, six, eight, six. Eight. Oops, I, I said it wrong. Well, not really. Uh, <laughs> G, B flat, C, B flat, C. Eight, six, eight, six, and then bend that eight. That's a C, or bend it up to a D. D is part of the G chord, that's the fifth interval. For a G7 chord, D is the fifth note in the scale. That's a chord tone, also part of the part of the chord. There's that D. And I love that. B flat G real quick. If you do a fast upstroke, B flat G, it's kind of mean sounding. It's a minor third to a root. Then a little turnaround or a little, a little uh, shuffle of the notes. Just a B flat G D F. 
That's six, eight, seven, six. That's an F, which is part of the G7 chord. Okay, that's cool. You gotta learn that. Then we kind of smash it down that way. With I like middle finger on that. That was third string. Seventh fret to fifth fret. Slide. D to C. Then we're kind of getting back to where we started. Third string, third fret, B flat. I'm gonna bend it up real slow to a B. Most people go, I'm done. I'm like, wow, man, you just killed it. You wanna go more. A lot more, it's a lot more interesting if you move slow, you know? <laughs> And find that sweet spot where there's just perfect harmony with the chord. So I'm just rotating that way. Usually I bend that way, but this time I'm bending that way. It's just a half step bend, a B flat to a B. And just bend it till it sounds really good. And then you can land on a root if you want. You could always uh, do a turnaround. That would be like three, four, five. On the fifth string, three fingers, chord. Just like a C7 there, only it's a D7. That's a five, four, five, three. And from there, you can just knock yourself out, do anything you want. But if you learn some of these stock moves, fundamental, basic stock moves, they're really, really cool. And uh, not that hard to do. Very fun to play. Uh, you know, you just got to try to play it kind of with uh, some, a little tiny bit of conviction goes a long way. If you play it kind of washed out and kind of, you know, that's okay. But you want to, if you can make it, sound kind of mean and play it on the beat and you know kind of dig into your string a little bit with your pick and make those notes sound kind of you know big and uh it's just kind of in your attitude of how you play it so uh and it's, like i say it's repetition it's not punching it harder well sometimes it is but it's just about doing it again and again if you can you know fall asleep every night playing the guitar that's pretty cool. Just play as much as you can and uh, internalize these basic riffs and licks. And uh, there you go. Hey, if you could subscribe, that would really be great. So, uh, and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I, always, I check my account constantly and just see if there's any, any activity and, um, you know, anything like that. I, I notice every single positive thing. Uh, so, uh, I really appreciate it. So keep rocking, and uh, that's what it's all about. Have fun. I love it.